hi everyone in the previous class we have seen the concept of functions which are meant for to perform a particular task again and again we can go for the concept of functions and then we have seen various types of functions like built in functions user defined functions these user defined functions we are going to define in three ways one is through normal function declaration and another one is through function expression another one is through arrow functions Correct. This is what we have seen in the previous class. You can visualize code here. This is normal function declaration with the help of function keyword. You can able to define the functions. And this is what we call it as a function expression. And this is what we call it as a arrow functions. And then we have seen how to pass variables to the function, how to pass functions as the arguments to the function. All these things we have seen in the previous class. Okay. Now in today's class, we'll see one of the important topic that is objects guys in the real world everything is an object meaning that everything is an object every object having certain characteristics characteristics and some actions they may do for example if you take any person the person can have characters like the person name the person can have age person can have gender and certain actions like he can sleep or can run except these are the various kind of actions like that. okay i mean every uh, an object is a kind of a real world entity which is having some properties and methods okay and all these properties and methods we are going to write in the form of key value pairs key value pairs okay fine generally if we take in javascript in javascript everything is an object everything is an object except except primitive data type primitive data types so like primitive data types means like uh, that can be uh, null or undefined or symbol or number boolean etc these are all various kind of uh, primitive data types like this we have seven primitive data types are there for example one more thing that is uh, string string is also a kind of uh, primitive data this is all what we have seen in the previous classes okay except these primitive data types all will come under objects only meaning that everything having represent in the form of uh, properties as well as methods like for example if you take uh, any javascript objects javascript objects for example first thing object is also a kind of an object like in java in java every class is going to be extended by default to a class called object class okay like that here also we have an object called object and uh, boolean is there boolean is also one kind of an object uh, number is one kind of object string is one kind of an object date is one kind of an object math is also one kind of an object regular expression is one kind of an object okay fine uh, in addition to this array is also one kind of an object functions functions is also one kind of an object like this so we'll have various kind of javascript objects are there various kind of javascript objects are there okay not only uh, like this this all various kind of basic javascript objects in addition to this we'll have some other kind of objects are there like <coughs> some browser objects like uh, window object this are all we call it as uh, browser object browser objects meaning that if you would like to work with the entire web page then i can go with the uh, browser objects like window object navigator object navigator object location object etc this are all various kind of uh, browser objects are there and another kind of object is dom objects if you want to work with document of the web page then i can go with the dom object like this will have various kind of objects are there okay fine let's see one by one first so in this class uh, we'll discuss uh, so in the previous class we have already completed the concept of functions now in this class we'll take uh, the concept of arrays and the concept of object and uh, these three are already we know let let me check let me explain how to create that object uh, actually okay fine first we'll see 
the concept of object so you know right how we are going to create an object object we can able to create in multiple ways amma among those one way is through object listen object listen another way is through we can go with uh, construct i don't want to go with always i would like to go with only the basic way so that that will be simple for me construct or i can go with uh, new keyword so in java also we can instantiate an object with the help of a keyword called new keyword and then we have a method called create method so through these four methods i can able to create an object okay fine so let me create an object with the help of uh, object literal way so object literal way means simply uh, the date the the key value pairs are going to represent in the form of a flower branch variable for example person equal to i am going to write this so this is a kind of null object it doesn't having anything if you want to write something so i can be able to write like name equal to name equal to something like code the code age equal to some 50 50 like this you can able to create an object now if you are going to check the type of uh, this uh, person then it is going to define as uh, we'll see uh, example regarding the execution part for example i would like to go with the execution part in the console itself i am going different so as it is a kind of case sensitive language i have to go with the small let only where person equal to i need to make code yeah age equal to 15 now if i am going to define the type of operator type of uh, person type of person then automatically it is going to be written as a object object this way you can able to create an object or else you can you can go with uh, the new keyword or constructor or to with the help of a create method now if i would like to access the properties of this object then i can simply use a dot notation we can able to access or we can retrieve the data in multiple ways again one is through dot notation through dot notation we can able to retrieve the data or with the help of uh, square brackets we can able to retrieve the data or with the help of uh, square parameters with expression we can retrieve the data okay see for example to access the data i am going to define i am going to completely first define the object person dot if i write like name name will be displayed So this is the dot operator which we are going to use. If you want to access age, person dot age that will be displayed. Or I can go with another way, person dot person of. I can go with directly age like this. You can open it. Or for example, let me take where x equal to. Let me call it as age. Call it as age. And I will write like person of person of. I am going to define an expression. That expression can be anything. person of this is the example for representing re- retrieving data through an expression these are the different ways to add to retrieve data okay similarly you can able to add the data add or insert the data into object data into object how we are going to do again one is through dot notation only simply through dot notation i can able to add the data for example let me take so first if i would like to modify the data of a particular property then first i need to access the object person dot name equal to i am going to write like jaya that will be modified now if i try to print the person object obviously this name will be modified name code is 50 here name jaya is 50 like this you can able to get the data okay if you would like to uh, add an extra property which is not available in this object can we able to add yes we can able to add for example person dot graduation person dot graduation. graduation is a property which is not available in that actual object so but i am going to add this one person dot graduation equal to i am trying to write this that will be added if i am trying to uh, print this data that will be automatically available okay like this you can able to do. you can able to do. so fine so what i will do is uh, i will try to connect uh, a new file called object.js file to my html file so now here i am going to create an object where person equal to 
I am going to go with the object literal way. First one is name Krishna, comma age fifty, comma gender male, gender male. Okay, fine. If I want, I can able to add graduation. Graduation is B Tech. Graduation is B Tech. Yes. This is a kind of an object. Now, if I want to print this object, I can able to control dot log of log of person. Right? If I am going to refresh this page, your data will be displayed automatically here. Okay, fine. So as I am saying that uh, for every object, for every object, we can have methods also. Some some kind of actions. For example, here this person can sleep. Let us assume that this person can sleep. Now, how can I able to add with the help of uh, uh, for example, with the help of a function expression, so he can able to sleep, right? Yes, I'm going to use function of function of. I'm going to write some data. For example, console dot log of person is uh, sleep. Person is sleep. Like this, you can able to write. Or if you want, you can go with uh, arrow functions also. I can go with arrow functions. Arrow functions. Now, if you would like to call specifically uh, this sleep method, I need to write person dot sleep. You will get the answer as sleep. One person dot six. Okay, here you are getting certain syntax. No mistake. Yeah, uh, here I mistakenly didn't type the now it is sleep. So this is the way you can add the function. Or else, if you want to add from the externally, you can be able to add. Okay, fine. Here, not only about normal values, you can be able to pass any kind of objects. Like for example, I would like to pass date of birth of a student, of the person. Then I can go with uh, creating a new object. New data. Today's date I am trying to create. Or else, if you want to add some hobbies of that person. Hobbies of that person. Then I can able to add, for example, hobbies are like uh, cricket, cope. You can able to add any kind of objects. Any kind of objects. Okay, fine. If I am trying to print this person object, that will be displayed. So date of birth, it is going to print the current system date and time and hobbies is going to have an array like that you can able to print all the data. Okay. If you want, you can use for nesting of objects also. For example, I am having an address, having an address, that address I am assuming that it is a kind of an object. So meaning that person is an object, in this object I am going to write one more object in the form of object literal. For example, let me take uh, street. As RGUKD, RGUKD, door number 535. 535. Now you can able to print that data. You can observe here. Meaning that any objects you can able to add. So, for example, if you would like to access this door number, if you would like to access this door number, then I need to first uh, access the person. In that person, I need to access the first uh, address, address object, sub so address. Then I need to access the door number. You will get as 535 as answer. Like this, you can able to work with the object. Okay. This is all about the concept of objects. Okay, fine. In the previous class, uh, I have already explained one concept for you. That is the uh, concept of uh, functions, right? Try to observe one thing what I am modifying here. So, for example, let me take one one function. Make one function where function one employee I am trying to create function of. I am trying to get some data from the user, like for example, e name, e age. I am trying to take. Trying to take. Okay, so. What we will do is actually, if you are like to 
store some uh, uh, some employee information what you can do you are going to create an object separately every time manually instead of that instead of that we can do some kind of operation here i mean uh, if you would like to access some data for example let me take um, variable e1 equal to some uh, something i am writing e name equal to jaya e age as 50 e age as 50 something like where e2 equal to again i am trying to write the same thing manually koti some age as 51 like this you, you need to create everything object manually instead of creating like this what you can do is we can have a function we can have a function for that function i am going to uh, define an object like where e equals i am going to create an one empty object and then i would like to add parameters to this object e dot e name equal to e name equal to i can add simply e name and then e dot e is equal to i can simply add e age. what are the thing that i am retrieving all those things are available now what i will do is i can able to access this data i can able to access this data every time is what i will do is i am simply uh, returning this key returning this key. okay fine so how we are going to create this for example e1 of e1 of i am going to pass jaya comma 50 jaya comma 50 now one object is created for you or not something like that okay console dot log of okay. e is equal to e e name equal to e name okay now if i am calling this function so what happened here it is returning only so okay fine i would like to pass this right the parameters which i am receiving instead of this what i did i passed the uh, strings now it works e name jaya e is it now what you can do these parameters you can take from the user and you can able to add dynamically from uh, user user input for example where k2 equal to e1 of e1 of 40 40 comma 50 now if you want you can able to add all these things Forty, fifty. If you would like to print the K one value, that I, that also you can able to print. For example, I am going to print. You can print all this, meaning that instead of uh, creating the object manually every time, you can able to work with these functions, and every time you are going to add all the input to this function. So now what you can do is, this data you can get it from the user. For example, I would like to do something like this. For example, var p equal to prompt of enter name. Enter name. Var y is equal to prompt of enter age. If it didn't enter anything, I am going to pass the value as fifty by default. Pass the value as default fifty. Now what I will do is I can do this instead of this one I can pass as p pass as p here I can pass as h now you can observe guys if I try to print the k one you will get the same answer enter name something like Krishna if you click OK you are going to ask enter the age twenty eight click OK that will be displayed as like this so this is the way you can able to work with the concept of object okay
next we'll see the concept of uh, arrays okay before that array is boolean guys i already said here i already said here boolean number string are all comes under primitive data types i mean see guys how we are going to create the primitive data types primitive types we are going to create as where j equal to true if i am trying to check for type of this j you will get as a primitive data type only meaning that something like boolean instead of this we can able to create another way where j equal to the help of new keyword i can able to create boolean of true the same thing it will be created but i always recommend to go with only primitive data because it is a easy one it won't complicate for you similarly number also you can able to create a number where n equal to something like 535 or else i can go with where n equal to new number of 535 this is also another way to create the number okay if you want to create string where s equal to csc you can go with another way where s equal to new string of new string of csc this is also another way to create strings okay so this is all what we have seen already so this is the reason so because of these texts because of this highlight red text you are calling this also as objects if you are going to check for the type of operator this will return as object okay so we completed already functions and uh, now can we can we are going to continue with the concept of array in in the next classes we are going to see these three type of objects and uh, the dom object bom object all those things okay how we are going to create array guys in c language or in java language in java language array is a kind of homogeneous data array contains homogeneous data homogeneous meaning that if you take this array it is a collection of uh, it's a collection of similar data but whereas coming to javascript the purpose of array is same it is meant for the collection of data only collection of data only but it can uh, collect but can collect uh, uh, heterogeneous data hetero Genius data. Heterogeneous data. Meaning that because of JavaScript is a kind of a loosely loosely coupled language, loosely coupled language, it can allow uh, different types of data. So how we are going to create this array? We can create it in three ways. Ma, one is through normally uh, array array letter representation where something like mm, numbers equal to. I can go with square bracket representation. Mm, for example. If you want, I can pass the values here itself. If you want, I can go with uh, some string also. If you want, I can go with some number, four point five like that also. Because of this is a kind of heterogeneous data. Or we can go with uh, object creation where number is equal to new array of. This is a normal representation. Or if you want, you can go with inserting the data. New array of four comma five comma six comma seven comma. Hello, like this, you can able to add the data. These are the three ways we can able to create an array in JavaScript. In JavaScript, okay, guys. So here, what I will do is I will take uh, direct editor here console so that it will be easy for me to explain. What I will do is I will try to make uh, this also comment. I am going to refresh this one. Okay, now guys. So I am going to. Uh, practice uh, showing of practice with only one 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 way where uh, for example number is equal to number is equal to 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma hello comma hello and i am going to press i think it is going to accept it if i am going to check so i would like to check array dot whether it is an is array or not if i it is going to return the true because it is an array if i am going to give where s equal to something like j if i am going to provide array dot is array of yes it is going to provide false because it is a kind of a string okay fine so for example let me create one more array once again and s equal to four five six seven i have created an array with four values now on this array i would like to perform various kind of operations various kind of operations like uh, I would like to perform um, 
புஷ் ஆப்ரேஷன் இஸ் தேர் பாப் ஆப்ரேஷன் இஸ் தேர் அன்ஷிஃப்ட் ஆப்ரேஷன் இஸ் தேர் ஷிஃப்ட் ஆப்ரேஷன் இஸ் தேர் திஸ் ஆர் த ஃபோர் மெத்தட் தட் வி கேன் எபிள் டு ஒர்க் வித் லெட் மீ எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஒன் பை ஒன் இஃப் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு பர்ஃபார்ம் புஷ் ஆப்ரேஷன் யூ கேன் எபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்ட் த இட்ஸ் மீனிங் இஃப் ஐ ஆம் ட்ரைங் டு ஆட் எயிட் தட் வில் பி இன்சர்டேட் அட் எண்ட் அட் எண்ட் and it is going to return the number of elements are there in the present type if i am trying to print the ns you can observe 45678 if i am trying to perform see uh, there is another method to insert that will be unshift 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 of i am going to insert the value 3 guys try to observe the number of elements in the array are 6 now that is what it is written in. if i am trying to print the ns observe 3 4 5 6 7 8 so but what is the difference between these two push method is going to add the data at the end it is going to add the data at the end whereas unshift method is going to add at the print similarly if you want to delete the data from the end position i am going to use pop if you want to delete the data from the print i am going to use the shift method guys try to observe now what i will do is i am trying to call end dot shift method so i am trying to directly remove so that's why i am not passing any parameter try to observe 3 will be removed the removed element will be removed now i am trying to print it 4567 similarly ns dot pop it is going to remove the data from the end if i am trying to print ns 45678 it is going to be produced okay now you may get one question sir you are trying to insert at the push insert at the print insert at the end delete at the print delete at the end if you want to add at any way in the array that can be friend or end or at the any way of the array then what we can do then what we can do we have an array we have a method called splice method splice method which is going to accept three parameters which is going to accept three parameters the first parameter represents index position index position j second parameter represents how many elements you want to delete how many elements you want to delete how many elements you want to delete here from k onwards you can have uh, able to add n number of parameters and uh, all the remaining parameters remaining are meant for adding the data adding the data see if i go with example so it will get clear idea if i am going to have where ns equal to 4 5 6 7 fine if i am going to use splice method first parameter is the index position which you want to do for example if i am passing as second from the second position onwards if i am passing zero if i am passing zero zero second index position represents how many elements you want to delete how many elements i want to delete zero elements and uh, i would like to add multiple elements 5.5 comma 5.6 comma 5.7 observe n sir after the second zero one the second index position onwards i am going to add the remaining elements that is the advantage of uh, this splice method for example i would like to delete one element from the position one from the position one and i would like to delete two elements and i would like to add some elements like 4.5 comma 4.6 like this meaning that you are going to remove by 5 and 5.5 because from the one index position also i would like to delete two elements what happened here ns dot splice of okay i got unexpected syntax mistake here now you can observe what elements i have removed that will be displayed here now if i am trying to display we will get 4 4.5 5.6 5.6 5.7 6.7 6.7 6.7 6.7 6.7 for example i would like to add some data at the front then i can able to use ns dot splice which location zero at the location i would like to not to delete any data i would like to insert only three like this you can able to work with this splice method splice method okay fine similarly there is a method called splice method which is meant for for example b where b represents index position only so which is meant for to slice the array to slice an array and returns and returns new array new sliced array returns new sliced array 
Okay, if you observe n s dot slice of two. Observe what happened from the second index position onwards. It is going to be slice. Okay, but whereas coming to slice method is going to operate all the modifications on the new array, on the uh, actual array. Whereas coming to here slice method, if I am trying to print the slice method, is there any uh, deviation in the data? No. It is going to cut the array and make it a new array. That's it. That is the way we can able to work with the slice. Slice. Okay. Fine. Observe here n s dot slice of if I am going to pass minus two. From the uh, from the end position onwards, I would like to cut the array. Minus one. This s one is minus one. Six is minus two. This is the way you can able to work with the slice method. Similarly, if you would like to have to find the uh, the element which is printed in array, find element position, element position. Then I can go with the index position. N S dot index of index of. If I write like four point five, you will get the index position as two. If I am going to write like some twelve, you will get as minus one because If the element is not there in the array, then it is going to display as a minus one. Display as minus one. Similarly, if you would like to convert the given array into a string, then I can go with join method. For example, for example, n s dot join of how how to join? I would like to join with the help of a question mark operator. Observe what happened. Three question mark, four question mark. All these array elements are going to be converted into a string format. If you would like to con concatenate. So n s is an array already there. N is an array. I would like to discuss how one comma two comma three. If you would like to concatenate two arrays, then I can use a method called n dot concat of n s. I am going to concatenate two of two methods. Similarly, I can go with the concat method also. Like this, you can able to work various kind of operations that we can able to perform on these arrays. Okay, fine. Guys, here as like as objects, in objects also we have seen the concept of nested objects, right? Writing one object inside another object. Similarly, can I go with uh, can I go with the creation of an object inside another object? For example, where k equal to, I would like to uh, cut this array to some elements. Okay, fine. Can I write nested arrays? Writing one array inside another array, yes. we can do this. We can do this. This is possible. If I am trying to print the console dot log of, you will get as like this. Right like this. Okay, now guys. Yes, guys. This may look somewhat uh, not clear, right? Meaning that whenever you are trying to get the data from the database, you may get the data like this also. Like this also, because all array is traversed in the form of objects, right? Now, if you want to flatten this array, we can use a method called flat method. Console dot log of uh, flat method. Uh, flat method k dot flat. Method. I would like to access. Now we can observe the answer is three, four, five, six, seven. Now, for example, I made some more uh, nested. Some more nested. Now you can expect some answer as if you observe. This is actual array. In that array, it contains so one more array like this. Too. But here, if you observe, this is actual array. This array contains one array. That's it. That's it. I don't want to do this also. I want to clear this uh, nesting also. Then I can go with. By default, it is going to pass one. If you are going to pass k dot flat of two, two levels nested also remain. Similarly, if I have third level of nesting, then I can go with the third level of nesting will be also be remain. Flat, flat method is also meant for removing nesting. Removing nesting. Similarly, guys, can I go with nesting of objects? Can I go with nesting of objects? For example, let me take var p equal to. I have an array. In this array, I am going to add multiple objects. For example, let me take this one. This one only. Can I go with this? Writing one object inside another object. For example, let me take.
this is an object i am trying to define something like this this is one object right this is one more object this is one more object i have declared three objects inside this array inside this array rgkt1 rgkt2 rgkt3 535 536 537 this is what we call as nesting of objects Guys, if you would like to print these values, if you would like to print the values of all these, what you can do? Ma? Console dot log of. How we are going to access the array values? P of. P of. This is the index portion, right? P of zero. P of zero. Dot. So I would like to access the object, right? Then P of zero dot dot number. You will get. 535 is the answer. 535 is the answer. If you would like to get 537, this is the index portion is related to 0, 1, 2. P of 2 dot is 537. Like this also, we can able to access the array values. So, if we take simple far off loop, there we can take, we can uh, able to get all these things. Okay. This is what we call it as uh, nesting of uh, objects. So not only this, we can able to do various kind of other operations also. Okay, fine. For example, guys, here I have a uh, an array where um, j equal to one second. I'm trying to write C S C E C E. C E S mechanical mechanical. I have a method called short method which is meant for the purpose of sorting the data. Sorting the data. I am trying to print console dot log of observe guys C E S C S C E C E and mechanical. Observe it is going to be in the alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Okay, this is okay fine for me for me there is no problem if i am going to take where j equal to 5 1 6 2 g 6 2 0. what happened if i try to refresh it is going to produce that is a kind of method which is meant for to short the data up to now it is okay this statement is okay but if i add here 25 1 1 6 2. Now, what is the answer will you expecting? You are going to expect as 2, 16, 25, 30, 61. Observe, you got some data as like this 16, 2, 25, 30, 61. At least some part of the array is not in sorted order. This is because in JavaScript, in JavaScript, short method is going to work based on the concept of strings. Based on the concept of strings, meaning that you can observe here. This is 1, first value, 2, 2, 3, 6, meaning that based upon the first digit, it is going to short, it is going to short it, okay. So it is not satisfying our requirement, we need to write our own function, we need to write our own function. So for that, what we can do is, we need to write some function, right. So for example, I am going to use some for loop, okay, uh, I am going to write some for loop, for let uh, I equal to which the method the basic sorting technique I am following. I less than I would like to find out the length of the array so that I can able to iterate up to that and then I am going to make I plus plus. I am going to take inner for loop once again to make uh, the iteration from the second portion onwards. Let j equal to the next portion onwards. Uh, hmm, okay, let me take in order to avoid conflict for you. This k less than j dot length, and then I am going to increment the value of k. Now I got the first element, second element. Now I would like to compare if j of i, j of i is greater than j of k. I am going to do what? I am going to swap something like where p equal to j of i, j of i j of i equal to 
j of uh, k j of k j of k equal to j of k equal to k now finally i am going to print the data print the data observe guys if i refresh what happened you got the actual data or not 2 16 25 30 61 even though we added some value like uh, 46 that will be in the short order only so this is the way we can able to write for example i would like to make some method only j dot hmm. Hmm. i'm like var s equal to i would like to write some function for us i'm going to write function that's it i'm going to call this s function explicitly from outside now also you get the same thing that's it this is the way you can able to short the data this is the way you can able to short the data or else guys there is another way which we can do with the help of the short method only with the help of the short method only try to observe what i am doing i can able to use uh, callback functions concept i am going to call my array and through that i am going to call short method the short method is going to call, provide a callback function callback function which is going to take two parameters like uh, first value and the next value next value and then and then it is going to compare it is going to compare the current value with the next value this is the way they implemented them i am going to if it is greater i am going to return plus one i am going to return plus one otherwise i am going to return I am going to return minus 1. Minus 1 means uh, no change. So instead of no change, I can able to use the exact word no star. And plus 1 means uh, star. Plus 1 means star. Okay. Now guys, you can observe the same output will be there as this. Even though you added something like 18. You will get the same answer. 216, 18, 25, 30, 46, 61 the same answer so this is the way you can able to work with the functions okay for example guys if i made it as uh, less than now what is the answer will you expect you will expect in the descending order if i made as it is and if i am going to exchange the logic minus one and plus one what happened it is going to make in the reverse order. Reverse order. Guys, observe. It is going to make with the help of current value, right? I mean, uh, based upon the value. I would like to, uh, I would like to make with the help of second digit. Mm, to avoid confusion for you, I am making a copy this one and uh, making comment here, and I am trying to copy here. Here it is it is uh, performing the operation based upon the actual value. I don't want to do that. I want to go with the decimal value. For example, fifty. I want to go with the second digit onwards. I want to go with second digit. Then what I can do? Current model is hundred. How we are going to get the second digit? Next model is hundred. Let us check, guys. So here it is going to got descending order. Now we can observe. We can observe in the descending order of the data. This is one, two, okay, six, five, six, zero, five, eight. Okay, we are not getting the data. another way okay guys so sixty one okay fine based upon second digit I need to get okay fine anyway uh, we will discuss it in the class we'll discuss. okay right now right understood okay I don't know why it is not working here but anyway I would like to short the data from the second digit uh, position I can able to do that also Okay, fine. So this kind of function, I am calling it as callback function. Callback function, meaning that after completion of this function only, 
the outside function short function is going to be executed the short function is going to be guys the same method the same method i can able to write in the form of in the form of arrow functions right you can able to write in the form of arrow functions and one more thing you have observed here this is what kind of function an anonymous function anonymous functions anonymous functions okay hmm. now guys uh, uh, i would like to go further with the help of this anonymous functions i would like to explain various kind of other methods which are supported by this arrays where j equal to let me go with uh, small numbers 1 comma 2 or else i will go with uh, 10 15 12, 19, 13. That's it. That's it. Guys, Short method. For each method, how we are going to call this for each method with the help of array name j dot for each of j dot for each of. I'm sorry, I made some mistake here. J dot for each method. Guys, what happened is this for each method is going to take a callback function of three parameters. First parameter is the element which you want to iterate for every time. And second parameter is index portion. Third parameter is uh, array name. Guys, uh, all these methods, whatever I am explaining from the short method onwards, all are going to take the same way only. First one, first parameter is uh, element. Sorry, this uh, short method is going to have different way. First parameter is current value, and second parameter is next value. Next value. Okay, fine, guys. I, I will show a simple example for you. So it is going to take a callback function. Now for each function, I am calling it as higher order function. Higher order function means the function which is taking one function as a input, passing one function as parameter. Then I can call it as a higher order function. The function uh, which is taking another function as parameter, as parameter. can call it as higher order function higher order function third function and inner function as callback function callback function okay namma now this function is going to take three parameters first parameter is element which you want to iterate for example for the first iteration it is going to get 10 for the second it is going to get 15 For third iteration, it is going to get twelve and so on. Similarly, index portion. Similarly, I am going to get some array name, meaning that this J is going to copy here, and it's going to get something. Here. Now, uh, for timing, I would like to show something right for you. Element comma I comma I. Meaning that what happened here? For first iteration, you will get ten, zero, enter array, fifteen, one, enter array, and so on. It is going to be printed. Observe. For first iteration, ten. Zero and error. Fifteen one and error. See observe. Zero one two three four under values. So meaning that for each method is going to iterate for for each method it is going to uh, iterate uh, over the entire array over the entire array. Guys observe. I have a method called. I have a loop called for of loop, right? I have already shown in the previous classes. K of j, k of j. Now if I am trying to print console dot log of k, now what it is going to do? It is also going to print the same thing, right? Ten, fifteen, twelve, nineteen, and thirteen. And then what is the difference between this one? See, observe. If I am going to write like something like if k double equal to fifteen. I am going to simply perform break operation. Observe what happened. It is going to print only the value 10, but not the remaining values. 
but not the remaining values guys can i apply the same thing here what i am going to write is if my element double equal to break double equal to 15 i am going to break it is going to define as illegal break statement illegal break statement meaning that the for each for each method for each method doesn't support i will write here it doesn't support doesn't support break keyword continue keyword instead it is meant for to iterate complete whereas coming to for up if you want you can able to break the loop right you can able to break the loop but it is not possible to break the loop so in that kind of situation we can go with the for each method so when you want to iterate over the complete array compulsory then you can go with the for each method i can go with for each method okay similarly there is a method called map method there is a method called map method which is also going to take uh, a higher order which is a kind of higher order function which is going to take a callback function as a parameter of, of this uh, element index and array and out of these guys a index comma array are optional parameters and one more thing here I, I, am not, I, I, I couldn't explain here see the same thing I can write like this right with the help of arrow functions I can write like this I can write like this and I can remove all these parameters as I'm having only single parameter I can able to pass like this and I can remove all this and that will be converted to a single parameter console.log of like this you will get the same output there is no change output so this is the way you can able to work with the for each method next kind of uh, method map method which is also going to uh, iterate over the entire array iterate over the entire array and returns the transformed array and returns the transformed array what is the meaning of the transformed array for example i would like to transform my array each value by multiplying with two each value by multiplying with two for example how, how we can do this one for example multiply each value with two multiply each value with two can i go with for of loop yes for of k of j k of j i am going to declare one uh, array where a equal to i am going to declare empty array and for this array i am going to push use the push method and uh, i am going to perform k into 2 k into 2 finally i would like to uh, print this data console dot log of a console dot log of a multiply with this console dot log of a ok if I try to this, what will happen? You will get the answer as multiplication of all this 20, 30, 24, 38, 26, right? So multiply with 2. The same thing we can able to achieve it through a method called map method. How we are going to call this map method? J dot map of, which is going to take actual array and it is going to convert it into transformed array, meaning that actual array can be converted to transformed array. So which is also going to take callback as a function. So what I will do is, uh, it is also going to take three parameters, but I am taking only single parameter here, as I required only this one. It's going to have callback function, and I am going to return. I am going to return each element multiply with two. each element multiply with two. and it is going to return what new array where a equal. Observe. Right, observe. You will get the same answer, even though I added something like sixteen here. That will be updated. What I did, I taken the, I am trying to iterate over the entire array for the first iteration element equal to that will be returned and added to this uh, new array and it is going to do the same process. That is the meaning of uh, 
transformed array. The actual array will be transformed to this one. Console dot log of j. So this array will be transformed to this array. Okay. Next kind of method that is a filter method. Filter method, which is also taking, a, which is also kind of higher order function, which is also take uh, three parameters as argument, argument, which is going to filter the array, filter the array based upon certain condition, based upon. Certain condition and it is going to return that error. It is going to return that. Error. For example, for example, I would like to filter. I would like to filter all the elements of the array whose values are less than 15. Whose values are less than 15? Then I can go with the normal process, or else you can go with the, this approach. So that return array is a equal to j dot filter of I am going to take callback function element. I am going to take new array and I am going to return what values I need to return. I need to return the values which are more than 15. Then what I will do element greater than 15. More than 15. Observe if I refresh, what will be See the same functionality you can achieve it through the another way, but this is the one of the predefined method which was given by the developers. You can able to work with this also. Filter method. Okay, fine. For example, I would like to get the elements which are less than 15. Then I can go with this. Or if you want to do some kind of other uh, specified your own condition, then we can go with all those also, which are equal to something or those. Okay. Next kind of method that is uh, reduce method. Reduce method, which is meant for to reduce all the array elements into single value, which is meant for to reduce all the array elements into a single value, then you can go with the reduce method, which is also a kind of higher order function, which is going to take three parameters as a parameter and it is going to sum up of all these things. Observe, this will be somewhat different. I am going to take where, where uh, a equal to Equal to, I would like to call this function by j dot reduce reduce which is going to have higher order function as a parameter that is element if you want you can able to pass all the things right yes so right this one I will write clearly so that you won't get any confused for function of this is a function guys up to here it is a function and it is going to take three parameters four parameters element index comma array name comma any and here what I will do I am going to return I am going to return I would like to sum up of all the elements I would like to sum up of all the elements plus I need to have some basic value right basic value what is that basic value for example let me take as count that count I am going to pass here meaning that here the function is going to take four parameters as input out of those count is a kind of initial value this initial value we are going to pass from here. I think I forget it here. See, function method is from here to here, and the first parameter which I am passing as 0, that will be taken as count. And it is going to do the sum process. And if I am trying to print the value of k, you will get the answer as 85. If you want to confuse, I can able to change all these two from 1 to 5. 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5. What is the value? 15. What is the value of 15? For example, guys, I am going to make modify as here 10, meaning that initial value is 10, that means total value is 25. This is the way you can able to work with uh, this one. Next question. this method. Okay. Next kind of method is find method find method which is meant for to find an element to find the element which satisfy the given condition satisfy the given condition which satisfy the I'm sorry condition satisfy the given condition observe what I am going to do this is also going to have same process where a equal to 
j dot find dot which is also going to take callback function i would like to use only element and uh, then what i will do i am going to have to return the value which i am going to find something like uh, greater than 2 greater than 2 element which is greater than 2 i would like to find the element which is greater than 2 then you can you got the answer as 3 because it is the element which is greater than 3 greater than 2 that's why you are going to get the 3 see you can observe the same uh, kind of concept i have written here in the uh, filter method filter method is going to have what filter the array based upon certain condition similarly it is going to filter the array based on certain condition but it is going to return only one value whereas coming to filter method coming to filter method which is going to return an array I'm not printing value here. Uh, console dot log of a. Now we can observe this. Hmm, what happened here? Okay, which are less than 15? All are right. If I go with the uh, here, four. Observe. Now this is a filter method uh, concept. This is the normal one. So filter method is going to return. Observe here the difference between find and filter. Filter method returns all satisfiable values. Satisfiable values. Whereas coming to find method returns only one value. Only one value. That is the difference between the, the filter and the method. Okay, fine guys. I have an another method called sum method sum method which is meant for the purpose of if any one of the element satisfied one of the value if one of the value satisfies the condition satisfies the condition then it is go then the uh, then this method is going to return true then this method is going to return true otherwise it is going to return false similarly we have a method called every method if all the methods all the values all the values satisfies the condition satisfies the condition then only it is going to return true guys if you want you can able to see example for this here for example i am going to define where a equal to j dot sum of I'm going to take callback function, the same explanation you know, for all these things. I'm going to have something like this. It is going, I'm going to return. I'm going to return element greater than two. Element greater than two. Guys, is there any element which is greater than two? Yes. Yes, it is, there are some element which is greater than two. Then it's going to return what value, true value. Yes, it is satisfied. For example, if I'm defining something like element greater than five. Now we will get the value as false because uh, there are no elements which are greater than 5. At least one of the conditions is satisfied, then it is going to be as all the conditions are failed, it is going to return as the false. Similarly, you can go with uh, all also, everything. So, as like the say this method are similar to SQL syntax sum, all and any, right? Any is equivalent to sum. which is equivalent to any, any in SQL code. This is equivalent to all in SQL code. Okay, J dot every, it needs to satisfy every element. If all elements satisfy this one, then it is going to return true. Now in this case, you are going to get false because this particular element is not satisfying the condition. If I am going to write like this, if element greater than zero, now we'll get the true because all the elements are going to satisfy this condition. Okay. These are the sum of methods that are supported by this array method. Okay guys, yes, fine. So with this uh, we can complete the concept of array object, array object and also in the previous class I have already explained the concept of uh, functions.
so in the coming classes we'll explain the concept of uh, date math regular expression and uh, browser objects all this and all of this thank you